Elko, the high water mark of quality. My name is Joe Fleming, and I'm showing you here the our, what we call a EP300. Uh, it's a, a solid state motor speed control, and uh, we can go from forward to slow to reverse. We can do it instantly. Uh, there's no clutches, no gears, very, very quiet. And uh, whereas uh, we have a gasoline or a diesel engine runs in the 30 percentile efficiency, we run up around 90 percent. And uh, I can show you the gauges here if you'd like to take a look. We have uh, an electronic uh, set of gauges here, much as they have uh, in the cockpit of uh, the modern jets, they call it a glass cockpit. This is our tachometer, it shows the motor speed. This is our ammeter that shows the load, that's uh, the amps being drawn as you have a throttle setting. And this is our fuel gauge. The fuel gauge shows the amount of charge in the battery, and right below it, in a digital printout, it gives you the hours and minutes of runtime. So that uh, if you're out cruising, you have at any given time for any throttle setting, you know uh, just how far you can go for a given speed. The, uh, the unit is, uh, fits right directly in place of a Yanmar or Westerbeek or Volvo diesel, uh, either in brand new production or as a replacement. You just drop this in place of a diesel engine. It has exactly the same mounting footprint. There's only two wires that hook to this whole unit. Uh, there's a control cable and a power cable. Uh, the entire system comes in the box with plugs that go together, and you can assemble the enti entire unit in less than two minutes and have it running on a bench uh, to, to check it out. They're all pre shipped pre-tested, and uh, it's going to uh, it's going to change the the world of uh, sailboats with for power. Uh, by using this, you eliminate the smell, the noise, vibration of a diesel engine. Uh, and uh, peace and quiet, no, and, and no following odor when you have an electric propulsion. I have a question that's asked quite often is, uh, how do you charge the batteries? And basically, there are five ways to do it. Uh, one way is to plug, plug the boat into the shore power, and uh, from a, a almost fully dead batteries, you can recharge overnight. The second method is to have an onboard generator, which is prevalent on the larger boats and most all boats that have some sort of a generator, gen set on board. A third method is uh, to recharge from solar cells, a set of solar cells on the boat. Uh, that's probably uh, half as quick as the uh, power, shore power generator, but certainly within a day and a half, you can be fully recharged from solar cells. Third is a wind generator. Uh, which, uh, if you're out of mooring, your batteries can be kept charged uh, throughout a week. You can be off the grid for an entire summer with either the, the solar panel uh, or the wind generator. The last but not least is if you're cruising and uh, you're in a long distance cruise, you can actually let, let the prop spin with the key on and it'll re regenerate back to the battery. So you'll recapture while you're sailing you'll capture energy from the prop uh, and it'll bring the batteries back up again. Not as quickly as shore power or a generator or quickly, not as quickly as a wind generator, but pretty close. So you have five methods of charging the batteries and all for, for all different kinds of uh, usage. Well, you care to say anything more, Peter? That's it. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, whenever you're ready. Right now. I'd like to uh, uh, describe how this is, is designed and uh, the uh, operating features of it. We're using an AC motor where historically electric propulsion in boats have been with DC motors. The difference is that the AC motor has no brushes, uh, no commutator, and, and uh, only one moving part, which is the rotor, mounted on two bearings. Uh, the consequences of going with AC is that it's quieter, absolutely quiet. I can run this up and uh, you can't hear a sound from this. With the DC motors, they had to be ventilated, and consequently, you always heard a whine or, or a squeaking noise from the motor, and the motors could become contaminated. 
This motor is totally enclosed, unventilated. Uh, it can run submerged for periods of time. Uh, water can splash on it and it won't stop the motor. With historically uh, the DC motors, if they got wet, uh, the commentators would arc and conceivably burn out and just chain it. Uh, all the electronics are packaged in this top. Uh, it's designed uh, functionally for mechanical strength and cooling. So the, the whole uh, enclosure serves multi-purpose. Uh, uh, the multi-purpose of protecting the electronics uh, and keeping everything cool, the motor and the electronics. The unit has uh, a full-featured self-diagnostics.